So first of all, just your, your reaction to this guilty plea and uh, s sentencing of this one individual. No amount of time is going to make this right. And the fact is, is that the one amount of peace that we have is that at least he will never put another family through this trauma. So uh, 60 years is a long time. It's nowhere near long enough. But the truth be told that we're glad that uh, there is some justice in this and that he will never be able to affect another family. And you knew both victims, correct? I knew them both, correct. So your thoughts on what these last almost almost three years have been like for you? It, it, it is, uh, we missed them tremendously because they were both very good men. And yeah. um, it, is, it is a very, very, very sad thing to see young lives lost. And the whole thing about resting in peace, neither one of those guys wanted to go to rest. They were made to rest. And right now, hopefully, uh, with this sentencing, they will be able to rest in peace, but uh, it's nothing nobody expected, wanted, uh, or is pleased with that uh, these two young lives were just wasted. And to what end? I mean, nothing. Did you find peace in the fact that they did arrest three people pretty quickly recently? It, it did bring some amount of comfort because, again, the fear that if they were stupid enough to do this, they would be stupid enough to do something else. So at least they were taken off the streets but nothing about arresting or convicting or any other punishment that they could receive will make this better. The fact that our friends are no longer here is something that we will never get over. Is this something you've thought about constantly over the last three years? Watching Everett's sons, his, yeah, you think about it constantly because you know that those kids don't have their dad anymore. And Everett was a very wonderful, friend, he was a loving husband, he was a great police officer, but Everett was a daddy. And that was his biggest joy. And the fact that those boys don't have their daddy was the part that hurt the most. Because that is what I think in life he enjoyed the most, was being their dad. And that was taken from him and from them. You know, when you think about in the circumstances how they uh, were taken from us on a trip, having fun, they were just the victims of this random crime. Just, what does that speak to from your point? I mean, you've been on the city council. You know what that looks like in a city like New Orleans. Not just that. I mean, I'm my family. My brother was murdered, and no one has ever been brought to justice. The truth is, is that this pain doesn't go away. It doesn't get better over time. You may very well deal with it better, but it is always a void. It is always something that's hurtful. And the fact that these guys were caught, I think, will make it better or easier in some aspects. But the fact that the people you love ain't here no more, there's nothing's going to fix that. But this cancer of violence that is not just here in New Orleans, it's not just in Southeast Louisiana, it's across this country. It is horrible and I really hope that the people that have the ability to do something wake up and understand guns are the problem. And we really need to do something to get all these guns off the street. We're never going to arrest our way out of crime. We've got to stop creating criminals. Give these kids a realistic opportunity to be something successful so that crime never becomes an option and you can avoid this kind of tragedy. But we're trying to do something. We're going to close the barn door after all the horses have gotten out. Locking them up is not going to fix what happened to Everett. Making sure that no other Everett ever happens is what I think we need to be focused on. And giving these kids the tools they need to be successful from the beginning. I think we'll avoid this kind of tragedy in the future. I can tell that they meant a lot to you. They did mean a lot to me. And uh, Everett was, was a, a friend. I mean, I've known him uh, for a very long, long, long time. And uh, it's just, it brought back all kind of memories, man. Because again, my brother was murdered in 1979. You never get over this stuff. And once you've been burned by it, it's a scar that never heals. Anything else you want to add about them? sentencing, the plea, and anything else associated with this case moving forward? Because still, people, two people still have to go to trial. Well, I'm happy that, that I don't know the details to know which, act, which one was the actual shooter. So I don't know if he was the one that's going to get the harshest sentence or if the others were the shooter and he copped on them. I don't know. But the truth is, is that I'm glad that all three of them are going to be taken away so that no other family will ever have to go through this.